Hello everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. I'm the Fireblades, I might have made a bit of a mistake. Oh, if you were here for the last episode, I tried to declare war on this guy here, tried to take his property, but lost to a white piece. I owed him money as punishment, and I lost pretty much all of the stuff I could have used to recruit a mercenary army and kick his ass. The thing is, you got to get the advantage at the start of the proceedings. You can't just hope for something later on. I didn't have enough money, I made a mistake, and now I need to gain prestige before I can declare war on him again. So, this guy. Lorien MacDonald claims he would make a better marshal than Mayor Ruman. This is Mayor Ruman, and he's got 15 martial skill. This is the new guy, and he's got 18 martial skill. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. He's now my new marshal. Hopefully he likes me a bit better. I can send him to train troops in Thormund. Sorry, any Irish people if I'm pronouncing the county wrong, but... Ugh, I don't know. I'm not very good with Irish pronunciations. Um, right, from my domain, unraised, max total. So this is the amount of men I'll have so far because they all died in battle. And for my vassals, that's really all they're willing to give me. 142 men. So I need to have a look at my court. So, okay, he's not bad. He can probably give me a few, but these, this guy likes the Pope better. I will get nothing from him. I'll send him a gift. 15. And this guy does not like me either. So I'm going to send him a gift as well. It's quite expensive. Hold a summer fair. Hopefully increase my prestige. This will keep the peasants happy. Revoke the county of Ormond from this guy. I mean, I could. I invited a monkey trainer to the summer fair performance. It uh, went well until one of the monkeys refused to ride on top of a pig. The trainer beat the monkey with a stick, which led the other monkeys to attack the trainer, biting him and hitting him with his own stick. Here's your money. I don't want to ever see you here again. Gain five prestige, lose gold. That's fine by me. I want and need prestige. Recruit court physician. Brilliant. I'm going to go out and try and find a court physician. I can revoke the county of Ormond from this guy. The jester who performed during the summer fair ran around with his silly hat with bells, and before I knew it, he hit me with his bauble. Everyone laughed at this and his jokes, or rather his insults. It was rather funny. Good. Gain prestige. Brilliant. It's fine by me. Oh, another person. Learning of 14. Another deformed person as well. Wow. Intricate web weaver, mystic, ambitious, erudite. Small vial of my blood. I see nothing to, Nothing wrong with that. 10% that I gain a trait infection. Fuck okay, it. Let's go. Okay, that's good. Nothing has happened. Uh, usually it happens fairly quickly, the effects of what these interchanges are all about. The peddlers are loading their wares, the merchants are taking down their stores. The jugglers, strolling players and other entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over for this year. Great fun while it lasted, gained 10 prestige. Brilliant. That's fine by me. Now what I'm tempted to do actually is revoke the County of Ormond from this guy. I can, and if I do it as a plot, then I won't lose prestige. We'll start a civil war of him, though. 150%. Already. Plot backers at least one. So I can't just do it myself, because that's very autocratic. I've only got two other people who might be willing to do it, but no, neither of them want to do it. Okay. Thing is, if I gain control of Ormond as well, I'll have my two dom uh, domains. I actually got three now, because I think I got married to Emma Capet. Um, however, this ain't very good. Limiting. Very, very limiting indeed. 119 prestige, 22 gold, making a very small profit. So I need one of these to join me in my plot. The problem is that neither of them are willing. They must like him too much. I'll cancel the plot for now, and I'll just stick to making him pleased with me. No factions at the moment. 
Um, cut bearer. I need a cut bearer. I need a friend as well. Daughter of Munster. Quarter of Munster. Brilliant. Um, fate smiles upon me. My wife Emma is pregnant. Awesome. Gain five prestige. Court physician Edith. Uh, master of the horse. I'll give that to Malachi. Again, try to raise the renown of the people who don't like me. Try and get as little amount of enemies as I can going in. Um, no hospital. I'll have to pay 100 to have this hospital. This is the Reaper's Jew DLC, which actually brings along plagues and diseases. Um, so, how much is he willing to give me? 180. Sharp pains in your abdomen cause you to clutch at your stomach. Alas, abdominal pains. I'll actually probably start picking up symptoms. Suggest your symptom is not due to serial illness, but will quite pass soon. Nevertheless, you will receive some mild treatment very well. Edith, my court physician, will do her best. This is why having a court physician is good. To treat your abdominal pain, Edith, as I'd allow you to carry a bone of a chicken tied to a small pouch around your neck. It wards off the bad spirits, she told you solemnly. I'm glad I hired Edith. Excellent symptom treatment, plus two to health. Brilliant. Whether it'll work or not, I'm not too sure. <coughs> okay. Now, how am I... Queasy feeling overcomes you and you feel an immediate urge to vomit. Uh-oh, this has made it worse. Important decisions hold a summer fair. Cost 25 gold, that's fine. Choose a plot again, I'll see if I can revoke it. Um... Nope, neither one's interested. The thing is, if I keep a plot going and I'm completely inactive, there's a very small chance um, that I will actually con give away the plot um, to the person I'm supposed to be concealing it from. And I don't want that. You can no longer ignore the irritation in your th throat. You begin to violently cough. So I'm picking up all sorts of symptoms here. Seek treatment for illness. That was the important decision. Edith is fairly sure you have the flu. She insists that you follow her instructions. Very well. Oh, again, the monkey trainer's back. Um, yeah, lose five gold, gain five prestige. Edith gave you goat's milk with honey for your cough. Actually, that's pretty decent. Um, how are you suffering from a disease at all? Any of any of my court suffering from a disease? I don't know, actually. There's so many to look through. I'm not sure I did that did anything. What? That's a good, that's a good thing. Uh, so, abdominal pain, vomiting, cough. Uh, when your alderman suggested, asked for permission for a summer fair, I could never have guessed I would regret that. Uh, after a pipe powder court held in front of my own bailiff, they sent us one of my vassals to being drawn in a tumbler across the town square. Um, the home man gets the peasants are upset or I make one of my vassals angry I don't want to do that they will regret this local revolt risk I can deal with plus 1.5% for now 155 troops and 964 it was great fun while it lasted gained 10 prestige Seek treatment for illness. You are confined to your bed. Your body racked with aches and chills. You have contracted the flu. Oh dear. Okay, this isn't a very good start for my person because I've not even got an heir. If I die, then that's it. My life is in your hands. How good is she though? 14. Tr I trust your knowledge, O oh wise one. Cure me the best way you see fit. Edith gave you a pouch of herbs, good, and sent you on a journey to find your spirit guide. Oh, God. Wandered the wilderness for days, eating only roots from the pouch, sleeping under the stars. Finally, you felt a presence, and you saw a great horned beast. Afterwards, you wondered, are you the beast? Uh, oh, okay. Duke, get, uh, Duke of Munster gets mystically altered until 17th of July. Uh, two years. He's got it, got it for two years. He gains the trait Possessed, and he gains the trait Lunatic. So this is not a good start. I lost a war. I've become a possessed lunatic with the flu. Mystically altered. That's given me some advantages, but luckily my wife is pregnant, because I'm pretty sure she's not going to want anything to do with me after now. A truce. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, I've got a truce with this guy now. Uh, because we lost the battle, we declared a truce. Thing is, if now, if I declare war on him straight away, I'll be known as a truce breaker. Okay. I've got a new heir. That's fine. Players and blades. Uh, Rosie. It's my daughter. She's my current heir. Okay, that's good. So now this guy can die all he wants. Um, right, okay. What have we got then? We've got this place, we've got this place. Raise own local levies. Okay, that's good, that's fine, that's okay. But still, I've lost those troops, 100 altogether. Opinion of me is 16. Probably because I've become a lunatic. Female heir. Uh, opinion of predecessor. Um, he So he already hated my predecessor. Uh, I'm a foreigner and I'm a lunatic. So, yeah, this ain't great. He's only got one son. And he's Norwegian. He's in there to scheme. How are his vassals doing? Is he liked? Is he not liked? Um, minus 10 for him, so he's not going to get any help. Plus 28 for him. The thing is, I can't declare war on him straight away anyway. I'm pleased to hear that after a piece of shrewd management, the county of Thormund is doing well. People are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Prospers. Brilliant. Which is what these little bags here are there for. Special character actions po um, possible. Go into hiding. Somebody wants me dead. Seeks to kill. Yeah, yeah, it's actually him. I'm going to pause the game here for a second. I'm going to go to my intrigue section and find out known plots. I'm going to get my guy to auto stop plots. He's got 64% plot power. I don't want to go into hiding just yet. And actually now I'm going to start a plot to kill this guy. Whether he backs down or not, I don't care. Actually, what I can do instead... Where am I? Where am I? Uh, I'm going to actually see if I can revoke his county. Or to invite, neither of them are bothered about it. Okay, brilliant. In that case, I'll just plot to kill him instead. And I go back to my intrigue, my plots, or to invite plotters, and there's only two of them anyway. <sighs> Basically, they're his vassals. Um, so they don't want him dead. In that case, I might as well just try and revoke the county. I might have more chance of doing it, but oh, I don't know at the moment. Tough, tricky, he wants me dead. He's, gonna, he's refusing to give up the plot. Especially important decisions. Hold a sum affair. Um, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave that for now. Yeah, he thinks I'm completely incapable of ruling now. So I'm gonna be a lunatic for the next year and a half. And that sucks. So at this point, it's kind of just sitting on it, really. Um, Duchy of Munster, County of Thormund. Uh, do, 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 do. What else can I do? I don't want to go into hiding because that will decrease my reputation with people. I can tell him to end the plot and he will say no. He will not accept the offer in the first place. However, if the plot is revealed... He might actually, uh, yeah, can I imprison him? If we fail, we might de they might declare war on us. You have a 52% chance of success based on our relative state intrigue. Since we have evidence that Ern Ragnvald is the leader of a plot, no one will object. So 
So he's decided, he's decided to be another ass to me. I look at my diplomacy thing, match it up with there, and this guy's the top. He actually wants to become Chancellor. So good on him. Fabricate claim on Osrace. Oh, Osrace, whatever it is. Right, designated regent is not going to be that guy. I want it to be actually Emma. Um, where are you? She she doesn't like me. I'm not I'm not doing very well at this. People hate me. I mean I mean I am a lunatic. That's probably the only action he's going to get. Poor sod. How old is he? Twenty five years of age. And he's a possessed lunatic with the flu. Hold a feast. Actually, yeah. I want to hold a feast and see what people think of me. Uh, perfect entertainment for my feast. This is actually quite expensive. The costs will stack up. I don't know what's happened lately. No matter what my lover does, I feel irritated we've actually started to avoid her. Our relationship begins brings me only irritation. It is as if we've grown apart. Ugh, break off their love affair. Given the fact she's my wife, that's pretty shitty. The conjurer produced a rabbit from a hat and then made a handkerchief change colour from brown to red and then simply vanished from the room, only to knock on the door and open it a few seconds later. So, yeah, we're not fret we're not lovers anymore, but hey, magic, yeah. I'll spend lavishly on food. Yep, food stubs serve. I must produce, purchase venison, boar, duck, spices, wine, and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. I'll do that. I'm, a, I'm only one pound in debt. I'm going to gain that back very soon. Send the invites. Uh, dear Duke of the Fire, thank you for your invitation, but I'll not be able to attend your feast. In fact, I refuse to set my foot in the same castle as you. That's fine. I don't like you either. So these are basically all the people who I have a neg negative opinion about. They have an opinion of me, they might like me, but my opinion of them is different as well. So this is basically all of the people who I don't like, or at least my character doesn't. Now what I might be able to do here is actually revoke the title from him. County of Ormond and the other vassals by 15. Ugh. But he's tried to kill me. Other vassals by fifteen, so I can't revoke it. I need to plot it instead. So this is this is what it means about gaining support for other people from other people. You can't just go off and do something because you risk uh, doing all that bad stuff. Right, I've lost the trait flu, so I've recovered from the flu. That's good. So we all like each other. That does not. I'm still a possessed lunatic. But I'm in the final year of that. I think it's going to wear off in the next month, I think. Hopefully. Now what you can do is actually... Oh, God. Can't raise any levies with him. Investing uh, architecture. Okay. I want light infantry. I want to build a team of longbowmen. Good skirmish troops at the beginning. Hurts the enemy quite badly. Anna Rukid died attending to chamber business. Oh dear. Died on the shitter. Um, right, well I can't really revoke the title from him. Because it'll make my vassals very angry. And I can't even raise levies from him either. I got the smallest army ever. I still can't declare war on this guy. I cannot afford to lose 287.4 prestige. Again, that will make me an oath breaker, and I don't want to do that. I can't afford the loss to the prestige itself. I got my people there. I got these guys doing that there. No factions in the Duchy of Munster, which is basically this place here. Factions are basically groups started by other people because they might think they're better at doing my job than I am. And I don't want that. 
So anyway, we're going to leave it there. Not a lot has happened. Bit of a climb, but yeah, still seeing possessed lunatic. Uh, but hopefully that will end fairly soon. So I'm going to pause it there. Important actions are available. Hold a feast. I'm going to have one more check to invite plots. Nope. So I'm just going to have to do that and keep that there. So with that, uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully things will pick up next time. So see you later. Bye for now.